students wanted to submit their assignments in more creative ways. Um, and submitting through Blackboard, uh, you're sort of limited in terms of what you can do, either PowerPoint or a Word document. Um, and we decided to um, give them alternatives in which they could submit. And, and when you submit on Blackboard, you're short on space because you can only download so much uh, in terms of videos or um, you know, the students' own sort of creative things that they want to put um, through on Blackboard. Um, so we decided to try to come up with a solution to that problem. So we, we went through um, to try to help students uh, and send them a, a blog through RMIT. Um, so we took a couple hours to actually go through and have them set up their blogs and look at creative ways in which they could use that, um, either creating their own videos and then embedding them in, in their blog or finding YouTube clips that they can embed um, as well. Um, and also to websites uh, for in-text references and things that they could utilize. Uh, and then when they submitted their assignments, they could just give me a link uh, to their blog and then I could access that quite easily and then go through and look at their work. Uh, it also allows them to be more creative in terms of teaching and um, to express their ideas for their assessment. The, the difficulties is just the lack of experience for students to, to do a blog and just feeling comfortable with the technology. Uh, and then having um, you know, people actually assessing them and doing that and taking the time to actually go through and help them set those up and allowing them to, to realize that this is an option uh, for them to submit their work. Um, because I think it would be quite daunting to submit your work through Blackboard, not knowing if there's enough space, or there's a lot of things that you don't necessarily know about um, when you do that as a student. Uh, and then having this blog is another option uh, for students in which they can submit their work.